Okay. The other thing that games and in particular metaverse really focuses on is competence. So what is competence? Um, it basically means that I want to feel that I'm becoming better at something. I am better at dealing with the environment. I have more money. More money shows progress, right? Because I'm becoming richer. I'm getting more degrees. More degrees also show progress. Getting a better, you know, getting promotion shows progress. Buying a car shows progress. Moving up from a hatchback to sedan shows progress. So competence is a very innate human feeling that I'm becoming better and more competent all the time, right? And games excel at this, right? So even if you use Google Pay, how many of you use Google Pay here? Excellent. Google Pay also has a level, right? And I have also seen myself like they will tell me, oh, you are two UPI payments away from the next level. I'm like, God damn, I have to do two payments right now because next level will my level. Right? And then I sat back and thought, what level is it? I'm a master UPI payer. Like, what the hell does that even mean? Right? They're telling me that you are master. This guy can do 20 UPI payments in a day. Right? Like, what's that? But it's good to look at it. Right? A badge came, a good one told me, a level told me, XP told me. You are internally feeling that, boss, I have achieved something in life. Whether it's two UPI payments, so this is a very, very important emotional factor, which, as I said, games use really well. And a lot of mass applications like Google Pay have done it masterfully. And this becomes a very important reason as to what Metaverse is still missing, right? I'll come to the focus of what Metaverse is doing uh, and whether it should work or not work. But this is a key criteria that I think Web3 has missed so far, right? We haven't really seen Web3 really looking at the competence area, which gaming has exploited really, really well. And apps like Duolingo, uh, you know, uh, Google Pay, uh, obviously even Robinhood did this really well for trading. Right, so if for those of you who know what Robinhood is, it's the equivalent of your Zerodha in the US. They'd used a lot of this competence measure to actually make stock trading and crypto trading the most popular thing in the US. Because what they did is every time you did, you bought, right? They would actually uh, congratulate you. They would show down ribbons. They will give you a music that you have done something amazing, right? So what they were triggering in you is that every time I buy something, that's a great experience, right? Like, I have achieved something by buying something. But by buying a stock, you have not achieved something. If you buy the stock and you sell it higher, is when you have actually achieved something. But they didn't care about that, because making profit is much more difficult than actually just making a purchase in the stock market. So just this feeling of competence that company used to actually become one of the largest stock trading app in the US.